any citron. <laughs> This is Clive Sitchin. We're going over here because Clive has something special for Mr. Jenkins. Not for free, I've got to pay him, but Ooh, tight gear. <laughs> I've decided not to sell him there. Oh, get some WD 40 on that. You're not going to sell him now. <laughs> Look at that. Some original rear mud flaps that need restoration. So I'm going to redo all the white paint in the Rover logo and probably get some black stuff on this that's just, canvas that, coming that's through isn't it actually made like that they're made like that that. Was made, that one was made like it don't ask me why it's gone like it. it's on the back as well weird isn't it yeah it's not nothing that's gone like it it's actually made like it don't ask me why mm -hmm. that's still got remnants of the original part number that, yeah that was on it. So is it is it it's been on a car isn't it yeah they've been on the car yeah i can't remember where, what car took them off of but um but the rubber is better quality than this new stuff. These will last a lot longer than the new ones, I bet. Well, they will do, they won't curl up like <laughs> No! Yeah. Yeah, and she's taking them all out now, they used to be full of donkeys in here. <laughs> fluffy donkeys and stuff. Let me see the panel. Look at that. That goes where the speaker... Do you have a, still have a speaker no, behind? You no, don't? there's no speakers. No What's the holes for then? That's for the... Uh, you know the, the, the Series 2 knobs, the green knobs for the lights and stuff? Yeah. They use the single... The, the flat one just to use the, for the heat control. Oh. Obviously, obviously, it's a vacuum operated switch, so it has a water valve, whereas a P6 all one doesn't have a water valve. And what goes in the middle? Well, you'd have a set of four electric window switches. Ah, okay. That's a, someone's made a blank to go in there, because normally the original... The original blank would cover up the way it says window switches mm. if you didn't have them but the Nardas obviously do so they have four switches in the front here and obviously you have two in the back for It's weird individual. I was going to go to the front of your car then to see where that goes but it's yeah. not a P6 No, it's got air conditioning in this one It's not a P6 No, this won't, this won't fit it <laughs> So I've got to swing it, see what happens after 20 years the lacquer starts going Yeah, that's alright, we'll let it off we're not judging you, Clive. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, unless, if that was, they start to look really tatty after a while. He's going to show us his green balls. <laughs> so there's those two. Those two. Yeah. yeah. So nitrogen gas in the yeah. top half. Like an Allegro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same there. And obviously the fluid, which you'd have, you'd have the you'd have your hydroelastic. Yeah, but this is as the green, green uh, alien type fluid. Okay. There's the hydraulic pump. Six plus two pistons. Six pistons work the power steering, so it has more. So if your fan belt goes, you lose you suspension as well. But it does have. Does it sink down then? It oh. has this one here, this green ball here. Oh, another one. It's like your servo on your car. You, you. This is this is an accumulator, so it holds pressure, so oh. you can stop. Oh. If it goes wrong, you will have enough pressure to stop, providing okay. of course the accumulator works. That's what. <laughs> that. That's the fluid level. Oh, okay. I'll show you. Oh. Oh. This is exciting, it's isn't it? You're here at the pump and you're getting in the middle. That's that, so now the pump wind in itself up. Okay. So it's going to, I'll put it into jacking mode. You put it see, into jacking? Oh, yeah, it's going so up! It's going up, yeah. <gasps> Moving. Wow, it's like a monster truck. <laughs> you hear it go quick in a minute once it reaches its desired. So are you meant to put it up like this when you jack, jack it up? You can drive this in three wheels. <laughs> I can take the back wheel off of this and then put it in and then you can drive it on one and three wheels. Wow. So that's it, that's, that's, that's its height. Oh. And that should be roughly roughly between them two. Oh, right. them. I see. Yeah. So that those two are the and of course now once it's in high suspension, yeah. it doesn't have any spring. Oh. It has no, no spring now. Don't break your bumper. <laughs> well, yeah. so those two there, the one down you won't see it, the other one down there, the third one, yeah. is when they're all together in series, it gives you the super comfy ride. Oh right. Only on the exclusive. So when I push that button, oh. when I push that button and want it more sporty, it cuts that one out and then it relies on them two, which have obviously a smaller. And you say you got three at the back as well? Four. Four. Blimey. Lots to go wrong. Lots of pipe work. 
You've never had any problems? Is it going to go back down now? They should do, but these don't, they don't act immediately. Because okay. if you had a suspension oh, that acted, goes. if it acted immediately, <laughs> that every bump you go up, it would try to yeah. correct itself. So front it down first. Do, front down first. And there's no set way that they go up and down. It, it can be either way. But Clever, isn't it? <laughs> well, the, the, the best of it, really, is. I didn't even know he's done this sort yeah. of thing. But the, all Zan is have got it, but because it's exclusive, it has the sport one. So in other words, it has three spheres, but although you push the button for sport, that overrides its normal function because it will change the sport if you input the steering quicker, it will go into sport. Really? So it does it all the time, yeah. But so now it's in normal. You just have. Can you, can you slam it as well? Can you make it go? Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this though. Yeah, You're touch. hardly touching what, that. Much, doesn't matter how much weight you put on it, including my weight, <laughs> you watch what happens. It's going up. <laughs> so you can load it to whatever you want. And it will just self-level. When you get off, it goes up. But yeah, it'll come down again. Come down again. But this does this when you're driving. That's you don't, clever. You don't, you don't feel it do this. It just stays at its height all the time. How does it know? Because it's got height correctors on each, each anti-roll bar. Wow. It just con controls a, a hydraulic uh, valve, piston valve, so you can press it, move the shuttle valve, let's put the pressure in. If it's too high, the plate goes the other way, that's the pressure out. It's all very clever. Very. It's can you, can you make it lower? I can make it really low, but you won't be able to drive it like that. Because, um, Why would you do it like that? Just for loading? Well, possibly for loading, but also when you change the fluid, you put it in low, then it but you returns all the fluid back to that tank so you can change it. Oh, it okay. It's a but it's not very often <laughs> You're going to slam it, as you say. Oh, <laughs> it's going to slam it. <laughs> oh, there it goes. So it's emptying out its fluid now. Oh, yeah, look at the back. It's on its arse. <laughs> it's on its arse. So if any part of the system failed, like a severed hose, would this happen? Would it collapse down? Yeah, you, would lose, you would lose your fluid, it would pack up and it would go. Mm. But the safety bit is that uh, accumulator, if you felt this to go, or, or if it did have a leak, it saves it in there, and it, it can shut off front and rear suspension. It has uh, anti-sync valves. It has okay. Back go back up to normal. They do take a while. Because if it did, it would be correcting on the road. Each time you'll have a bump, it'd be too high, then it'd be too low. So it has like a shock absorber effect in the in the uh, roll bar uh, high pressure. It will go up. <laughs> Let's take a while. Yeah, it's starting to creep at the back. Yeah, it's obviously the back lighter, so it's sensitive. <laughs> this is all very amazing. Don't no, forget they had, they had <laughs> this. They had this on the DS Ranger cars in '55. Really? They didn't. They obviously, didn't have the anti sink, and they didn't have the. They didn't have the hydroactive sport function. But they had this self-leveling correction in the '50s. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's, and uh, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow used the same system. Blimey! Oh, that's it. Front's popped up now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's well comfy. It's well comfy. Yeah. As you say, you do, I can, like you do on the Allegro, I've lost the cap on it. I can oh. actually regas these. Oh, you can? I've got the, I've got the equipment at home. You, this, is, this is under a lot of pressure. I've got 40 bars in this one, which is, which is average. The, the accumulator battery one, like having a high capacity battery, that accumulator has 62 bars of pressure. Oh, right. So that's really quite high. Wow. So that's where it clicked off here. That, once it reaches its pressure. Sounds it like an off. air con pump to me. Yeah, like, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It'll do that all the time, every few seconds or so. Because there is, there is always like an internal leakage in the system. Not leakage as in leak fluid. No. You know, so yeah. it, it depends on how good the accumulator is, it depends on how much it recharges. Oh. There's no brake master cylinder on this. Right, okay. It doesn't have a brake master. That's how it is. That's, here. That's like your equivalent of a brake master. That is just a, <laughs> that is just a tap. You put 
for the fast brake pedal, you open the tap to let pressure through, which you've already generated because it's got pressure in the system. Oh. So that's what I'm saying. That's why it has the accumulator, because if you lose the engine, you won't have any pressure, but it will allow you to stop the car in the event of a oh. mishap on the, on the extension. So it's, it's, it's pretty robust. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm saying. Because your, your suspension relies on that mechanical pump. That's the mechanical pump now. Because my the... friend's got a C6 and yeah, it's electric. Yeah. electric. Yeah. 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 But it uses different fluid. Oh. It doesn't use the green fluid LHM. Oh. It uses uh, LDS, which is like an engine oil kind of stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. No, two, six pistons in here. You think, you think it would use the six to work the suspension? It doesn't, it uses the six pistons to work the steering because it relies on such a quick input, you need all the pressure. So the, the, so the, the power steering's all off that same pump? It's off the same pump. Oh. It does everything. Blimey, you're this really is, reliant is, on that is, pump. It's done 170,000 mile now. Wow. And apart from the, on the front suspension legs, there are two rubber rubber return bolts, which they, they give up. Flexies, like. Leak. Yeah. But it's, it's low pressure piping, it's not oh. pressure piping. It just leaks the internal leakage from the ram. We'll send it back to the tank so if they leak, they can it down the wall. So I've had to change to it. Every other pipe on it, which um, is a mine for the box. Is so it? Many, so <laughs> but touch wood, they've been fine. That's why I don't want to get rid of it. No, because it's been good. Well, thanks for showing us that. It's interesting, that. Let's just see the lever that you've been pushing. Where is it? I ain't touching it. It's in the centre, you won't break it. Ah! Oh, there it is. Lift it up. And pull it back. See, it's got, it's got a full wheel, see, at the back. Yeah. And a scale. That, that goes in high. So if it, that's to make it go up. Yeah, see, like it's gone up now, you sat in it. Not saying it's saying it wrong <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Oh! Pull it up. How do, you, do you push, push it, it all the back. way back? Push it right back, lock it in that place. That's it. It's in. That's it. So it'll go up now. It's gone up already. It's gone up. Yeah. Well, it's gone up already. And obviously you do have warnings on here for low pressure and, and uh, fluid level and stuff on the dash. Oh. But that's 370 miles and I was only at just under three quarters of a tank. Wow. That's 60 to the gallon. It's, it's, it's 60 to the gallon? Yeah, for a two litre car. It, it, you, five, it's gears. five gears? Five yeah. gears. But it's uh, banned from the ULES. It's banned from the ULES, yeah. So can't keep although it as it a passes, daily car yeah, now. Although it passes the emissions test for MOT purposes, it, um, our mayor oh. car has deemed it to be filthy rotten and it should be off the road. <laughs> filthy rotten? Well, that's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> has it gone up? Yeah, it's gone up. I didn't feel it. Yeah, no, no, it's very subtle. <laughs> so very subtle. put it back down. So it's the same power, again. Power In the middle, it'll spring back into its middle position. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal ride. Claude for any of the time what just normal driving basically. Oh yeah I can feel it going down. Boof. Woo! <laughs> I feel like I'm rolling away. No, you won't. <laughs> the handbrake's on the front of these, not the back. What? The handbrake is on the front brakes. Weird. Back. You can stop this car on the handbrake. Is that good? Wow. Is that good for yeah, yeah, a lot of people don't like Citroen, so why, why, why am I with Citroen? Well, I started my career with Citroen, so I yeah. just, this is what I know. I mean, so I like I like Citroen. They are unique in their the own things ones, they do. The older ones, you know. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but they are. Yeah. They were Citroen were renowned for being this sort of suspension and being yeah. different to everybody else. Now they're not like that. They're just like any other. Car. Yeah. You know, but as um, I so say, it's, it, it's pretty well equipped for a 20 odd year old car. It's got a full, it's early form of internal sat nav. What was that? Traffic master. It's talking to you. It's talking to you. It used to, tell, used to tell you traffic reports. When wow. like, you sat in there, it was like, it was actually telling you, but you had to subscribe to it. But now, obviously, it's, it's years out of date. No one ever subscribes to it. <laughs> it would talk to you. Oh, wow. I'd say that. Obviously, the electric windows in the back to activate them. That electric your, windows? Oh, to they're, lock they're them. All, they're all one touch windows. Oh. Obviously, that deactivates the ultrasonics, and obviously, AC and the. Uh, most of it. Wow. Six, the six pack CDs in the boot. Oh, CDs as well yeah, as the tape. As a tape, yeah. Heated mm. uh, front seats. As well as obviously you can go forwards, backwards, oh. up and down. And you can also go uh, that way and that way. You can also pump the seat up. 
Oh, blimey. I don't know if it's going to do that. Oh, yeah, I can feel, feel it. it. It moves, it moves <laughs> I can the, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, handsome one of the reasons why I don't want to get rid of it. It, it eats the motorway up. It's such an easy car to, to drive. Even though it's only five gears, beep, it's, beep, it's beep. such a high... Oh, what's it beeping for? The door's open. Gear. Oh! So it's transponder in here. Oh! Picks it up on the... Like you do in the guys, picks it up from here. Oh, okay. I'll put it up there. <laughs> cool.